Okay, this is a video meant to show you how to send any Nintendo uh, po on any Pokemon event, or well, for that matter, any Pokemon to your to your non-hacked, completely normal Nintendo DS system with any fourth generation Pokemon game and probably fifth generation. But for now, fourth generation. And um, um, what this would do, it would send it via uh, the global trading sta station, the GTS. So, a couple stuff that you need is um, Python, which is a programming language that will you will need to run um, an application, and I'll go over it right now. A PKM file. <clears throat> a PKM file is basically um, what the computer reads as a Pokemon. So, the Pokemon that you have stored in your game correspond to a B PKM file. For example, this one is... Um, Sorry about that. This one is the Heatran from the Pokemon Ranger 3 that you receive for, uh, from the mission. And it's a Japanese Pokemon. So so this is from an event. So instead of having to have the game, you can get it uh, much easier. So this, this could save you some time. Instead of having to go to Toys R Us's and GameStops to receive an event, you can just receive it through the computer uh, much faster. You can also receive um, the event sometimes before it even comes out. So... That's a PKM file, and I'll go over it right now how to get them, and this is sudo, you also need sudo that app, and that's an application that tricks any other application into thinking you're running it uh, under a root user with administrative privileges. I'll go over that again, uh, how that works, and <clears throat> last but not least is sent PKM. That's um, an application that will actually get the .pkm file into the GTS in your game. So first off, you need Python, and I'll go over how to get that right now. So of course, you head over to Safari, and then you go to P Python. There you go, Python.org, and uh, head over to download, and um, download Python 2.7 32-bit Mac OS 10 installer disk image, and this is basically it after it's mounted and downloaded. And just install it, installs fairly quick. And then to get PKM files, the best website, in my opinion, well, basically it is the best website because it has up to date, is pkm pkmdb.com. And this is basically it. So you head over to, you can also download um, events from, from DS, from Game Boy Advance, from uh, pretty much uh, from the GameCube, and also plain old Pokemon files, but here we go to D N Nintendo DS events, and um, these are from all the different countries, and um, the Japanese ones are pretty much the ones that are coming out right now, and you have a list of all the ones that come out. So, once you choose your PKM file, make sure you you get the PKM, not the Wonder Card, because the Wonder Card is for something else. Right now we just need the PKM, and um, for example, let me download this, I even though I already have it, but... Once you get it, make sure to take off the .exe extension because we don't need that. We just need it um, .pkm extension. And you put use .pkm. Okay. So this is this is how to get. And then to get sudo, just Google it and put in here sudo download. Sorry, download here and. Probably I downloaded from this website, but you can probably get it on another website. Just download it; it downloads pretty fast. And uh, send PKMs. You just pretty much again just go to send PKM and get over here. This also explains it, but just stick with the video and click over your where is it? here. Download these files, and it would end up being that folder over here. So first, what you need to do is head over to the terminal application in your utilities and right over here. So what you need to do is just kind of go like that, drag it and drop in the sudo. Sudo will open up. Okay, and then you pretty much put in the password for your root, for your root account. So after you do that, Terminal will open up with the administrative privileges. For the first thing you have to do is run a CD command. Um, first, I forgot about this, but you have to get your PKM file into the same directory as send PKM. So right here in the terminal window, you put in CD, 
and then you just kind of like that. There we go. There we go. It. No, sorry. Hmm. Let me just go like that. Sorry about this. There you go. There we go. CD space, and then you just put in everything, and it would. What this does is um look for all the folders in here. So then what you do, you open up this and um, you want to open up some PKM. This is the file you, the, you need. So you just kind of go over here, click enter, and it goes no arguments given. Please enter the path to the .pkm or .bin file. So what you do now is just copy command C and then command V. Co it just copies the name. You can do it manually, but it's easier just using the shortcut so you click enter and it says to please um, set your DSS D DNS server to this over here and I'll go over it right now I'll stop the screen recording and head over to my